God is confronting celebrity Christianity in America. He is exposing it. He is leveling the field. He's saying it's not about building your brand and your reputation. I'm looking for a willingness just to spread out like a landing strip and say, God, send your glory. Lord, we're living in an urgent hour. God, we need a season of visitation in America. Lord, if we don't lift our voices on behalf of the 60 million babies aborted in this nation, the rocks are going to cry out. We need a healthy sense of sobriety. We need an urgency of the hour. And I want to declare faithfully to you tonight, God is raising up burning and shining lamps in this nation that are going to infiltrate every sphere of society. Just as God raised up John the Baptist prior to the first coming of Jesus, so in that same spirit, he is raising up another generation of John the Baptist. They have a mandate to bring the mountains of of pride and arrogance low. They have a mandate to lift up valleys of discouragement and disappointment. They have a message of prepare the way of the Lord. Every tongue, every nation is going to bow before the King of glory. You can choose voluntarily to bow right now or you can mandatorily bow when he comes again. See, I still believe that hell is hot. I still believe that heaven is glorious. I still believe that there is only one way to the Lord Jesus Christ, and that is through the cross. I still believe that marriage is between one man and one woman. I still believe in holiness. I still believe in being set apart as a glorious, spotless bride. See, I believe that there's a rally that's happening in this nation. Glory! Yeah. Zephaniah, it's a book that not a lot of people read. He was called as a prophet to minister to a nation caught in religious apostasy. To their sin, he responded with the strongest development of the theme the day of the Lord. It is thought that Zephaniah came from a royal lineage. Zephaniah 1 verse 7 and 12 says this, Be silent before the Lord, for the day of the Lord is near. For the Lord has prepared a sacrifice. He has consecrated a people and it will come about at that time that I will search Jerusalem with lamps and I will punish men who are lazy in their hearts. This description of God searching Jerusalem with lamps I believe God is searching America with lamps. I believe that God is raising up burning and shining lamps in America, houses of prayer. I'm not talking about a building. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about hosting the glory and presence of God where the weight of conviction of sin falls where God calls you. See, I love Smith Wigglesworth. I love the miracle ministry God has given him, gave him, but that's not my favorite Wiggle War story. 
You know my favorite one? The time he got on a train, said nothing, but he hosted the holiness of God in such a way that everyone on the train fell out on their knees and began to cry out to God for mercy because he learned how to host God's glory. See, folks, I praise God for the supernatural. I praise God for miracles and his power. But Jesus was without spot or blemish. He had all authority and all power, yet it came from a sinless life. I believe God is raising up burning and shining lamps in America who are going to search out the deep things of God in this nation. They're going to be lighthouses. They're going to be battering rams against the darkness. Folks, we need men and women to rise up against the antichrist agenda in this nation. We need parents who are burning and shining lamps to rise up against Disney. No, you're not going to deliver something you're in bed with. I'm talking about dropping a plumb line in your home saying, we ain't going back to Disney ever again. I'm not letting their movies in my house ever again. I'm going to drop a plumb line in my home. It's, it's astounding to me in the, in the charismatic Pentecostal church how much we love the miraculous devoid of holiness. We can do fire tunnels. We can do crazy worship. But the moment someone starts talking about the conflict between light and darkness, the moment someone starts confronting sin, people get a little nervous. And I just want to remind you of the word of God. There are elders and there are creatures in heaven right now. And they're circling the throne. And they're not saying grace, grace, grace. They are saying holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. God wants to flood this atmosphere with light tonight. He wants to release a spirit of burning. He wants the kind of fire that's a refiner's fire, a fire that cleanses, a fire that ignites, a fire that consecrates, a fire that's willing to say, Lord, I don't care what I look like.